of what we did here. Most of all, let's be the generation that never forgets what happened on that September day. Confront the terrorists with everything we've got. Politics doesn't have to divide us on this anymore. We can work together to keep our country safe. I've worked with Republican Senator Dick Luger to pass a law that will secure and destroy some of the world's deadliest weapons. We can work together to track down terrorists with a stronger military. We can tighten the net around our finances. We can improve our intelligence capabilities and finally get Homeland Security right. But let's also understand that ultimate victory against our enemies will only come by rebuilding our alliances and exporting those ideals that bring hope and opportunity to millions of people around the world. We can do those things. But all of this cannot come to pass until we bring an end to this war in Iraq. Most of you know that I opposed this war from the start a tragic mistake. Today we grieve for the families who have lost loved ones, the hearts that have been broken, and the young lives that could have been. America, it is time to start bringing our troops home. It's time to admit that no amount of American lives can resolve the political disagreement that lies at the heart of someone else's civil war. That will bring our combat troops home by March of 2008. Letting the Iraqis know that we will not be there forever is our last best hope to pressure the Sunni and Shia to come to the table and find peace. And there's one other thing that it's not too late to get right about this war, and that is the homecoming of the men and women, our veterans, who have sacrificed the most. they need and rebuilding the military they love. Yeah. Yeah. That begins that work. I know there are those who don't believe we can do all these things. I understand the skepticism. After all, every four years, candidates from both parties make similar promises. I expect this year will be no different. All of us running for president will travel around the country offering 10-point plans, making grand speeches. All of us will